Hello and welcome back to the channel. So you've just caught me servicing my van. Uh, again, it's a thing that you, uh, I learned off Neil from Urban Van Life uh, last year. So I'm doing this myself this year. Uh, it's just something that I need to keep refreshing in my mind and keep doing myself uh, all because eventually when I get back on the road and go traveling again, I need to be able to service the van while I'm away so um, yeah I bought a service kit off uh, eBay so I'll put a link to that um, for anybody who's interested of what I'm actually using but the service kit arrived all that sort of stuff so all we're doing now is just changing the air filter and all that is is this part here just four normal screws uh, and that is in there so you just take out the old one which doesn't look too bad to be honest and all you do with that is chuck it and then the new one goes straight in to there and just screw in so the four bits of kit that i've got for this service is uh so the air filter uh, fuel filter uh, engine oil change and the cab filter as well which is the pollen filter so we'll get that done so as always i'm starting with the easiest one <laughs> to make it look good so let me carry on with that so in the service kit, uh, all my engine oil, there's a couple of, there's about six litres there. There's the uh, oil filter, uh, pollen, no, uh, fuel filter, pollen filter, air filter, it's all in there. So that's arrived. I did buy an oil drain basin, eight litre, so I can drain the oil off and all that sort of stuff. And obviously my tools that I carry around with me. Uh, other thing that I have bought, some black plastic gloves, uh, oil filter wrench that are handy to carry, and some funnels for pouring the oil back into the engine, which is down in there. So again, that helps. Bits and tips, especially pouring the oil back into this tight space here uh, those funnels will just make it easy and all that sort of stuff so other things uh, coolant levels check I've got some spare coolant your know, washer reservoir uh, brake fluids and all that sort of stuff so all those little things are gonna be checking over the next couple of days uh, while the sun is shining so let's get cracking on and continue fitting my air filter and then carry on with the rest air filter done I think next, what I'm going to do, uh, I've never done this one before, but I am going to uh, watch a video on YouTube of doing the pollen filter in the cab because that's going to be quite tricky, I think. So we'll do that. Back in a bit. So, don't this is me attempting to do the pollen filter within the cap so i believe there's one screw in here and then there's a couple of screws up here which should uh, detach this and then that should have an electrical wire clip at the back so that comes off and that should all come out i'm hoping and i believe behind here is the pollen filter fingers crossed there's the two screws there and when these pop out these are hanging off these two connectors so before you rip this off just release these two wires and that will come away and that will I open that up now i believe i believe i can fly i guess it's unscrew these open this up because it's behind there so yeah when you take this off just be aware that these two are hanging off the back of here so when you pull these are really tight so don't pull too hard otherwise they'll snap off all right let's uh get this uh all those screws come off this then uh, with a bit of resistance comes away and then you expose this area here and i believe that is 
the friggin' pollen filter. Let's have a go. These two little screws, this flap pops down, and in here, there's the cab filter. So, so new cab filter going in. There's the old one down there. Let's get that in. So that is, so that's the compartment replaced. So that's the old pollen cabin filter. So we got a brand new one in there now. Hopefully that'll make a big difference. Done, next. So next job is to get underneath, drain, the oil take the oil filter off let that drain as well get all the oil out and then once that's out uh, put the new sump plug back in put the new oil filter back in and then fill up with oil that's easy Roy uh, like I said I had help doing this last time so uh, this is all me doing it by myself so little things that I've got this time <laughs> Uh, something to drain the oil with, uh, like an oil filter wrench tool, and again the uh, in the set that I ordered off eBay, the oil filter and the sump plug arrived along with the oil. And all I've done is put a bit of cardboard underneath so I can lie on that to get underneath. Uh, I have got my tool set ready to. Get the sump plug off so i'm gonna stop filming and get underneath and stop waffling and get it done come on rob get on with it so that's us done on the oil change a little bit messy so there's the old engine oil the old oil filters in there uh sump plugs in there so just completely drained off the oil put the new filter back on put the new sump plug back on and then i've got some oil to top back up with so we'll do that in a minute so that's pretty much spent some oil uh, that's pretty much the service done so uh, the only thing I haven't done is the fuel fill because that's a fucking bitch to the to do and I'll do that another day but pretty much oil's done air filter fuel uh, pollen filter and all that's done the main thing was the engine oil because obviously after living in Scotland for like the six months and using the van extensively you needed a really good oil change so that's all done uh, ignore that little bit of oil on the floor that was where I, I missed when I was pouring the oil in uh, but literally I've looked underneath where the oil filter goes and the, the sump plug uh, no leaks so that's good leave that to settle for a bit and then I'll start the engine up and get the oil circulated around the engine but that should be all good to go i have done a dipstick test uh i will go and buy uh some more oil and just uh, halt keep that in the van and just check it over the next few days but apart from that that's it done for today so one of the things i i want to do is uh obviously another time do my own brakes uh <clears throat> The other day, I, I was underneath uh, the work van here at Mule Vans, looking at the gearbox and all that sort of stuff. So I'm slowly learning about my own van uh, for my next big adventures when I can service the van and do all the, everything myself and keep myself running. So I will love and leave you there. <clears throat> not very exciting, not the greatest video, but it's a video as such that highlights the need for you to learn about your own van be able to service while you're on the road especially if you're going to go on a long adventure which we plan at some stage cool all right take care thanks for watching thanks for being here don't forget to like subscribe and all that malarkey and we'll see you on the next video shortly